in a group like this, who is responsible for leadership? Everyone. Everyone. Get those jerrys off those minutes. You have to be task focused. What's important now? Not the next shot. No one's going to have it tomorrow. That meter in front of you. The next tackle. Go, go, go. We are your parents. We will make you hurt. Your effort will get rewarded. We first met up with the TLT guys in late 2019. Yeah, so when we kind of looked at our squad this year, we sort of realised that it was probably only down to about a third of that squad back in, that, back in 2020, or sorry, late 2019, that had done that camp. So it felt like it might have been, might be time, good time to get these guys back down. Boys, get all your phones out, all your smart watches, everything, communicate with the outside world, give it your beak in the bucket. If you haven't uh, switched on at this stage, you better switch on. Started with a little bit of a debrief and background about themselves, and then before they knew it, it was helter skelter. People running around everywhere trying to assemble, get their gear in order. Get on the All your in front of you, hurry up! Two nights. Always starts these camps with a bit of a settling in period, I suppose you could call it. The, I think they call it a shake up. Push up, position. Hurry up! So if you know something, have a good enough trust in your culture and are inclusive that the youngest guy can tell the oldest guy. I got you, mate. I guess they soon learnt the push-up routine as they were doing that for a little while until they got sorted. Halfway down, halfway up, all the way down, all the way up, halfway down, all the way up. So the boys get a bit of a shock and learn pretty quickly that you better, you better be thinking clearly, you better be you know, communicating well and listening uh, so you can uh, get on with the job. Let's go. Pick it up, pick it up. Once they finally got their stuff together and all their kit, they had a trek through Penrith, in and around the river run. Change of pace, fast! Change of pace! Change of pace! Two lines! One line, one line! One line, one line! Carrying a few items, logs and jerry cans, etc. Get those jerrys off those minutes! Stopping along the way for some hill sprints and some odds and sods. Watch our pace here! Early on, it's pretty much definitely a physical challenge, straight up. I think it, in, you know, it was, a, it was above a 10k run. It was somewhere close to 12k by the time they finished at the stadium. It was a nice little start for what was about to come. Yeah, as the day kind of progresses, there's other other activities they do where it's not all yeah physical things such as you know holding your breath underwater, you know being able to tie certain knots and perform duties. So I'll still be doing activities that's you know takes yeah concentration, yeah communication, listening skills in particular. We then made our way to the stadium where there was two 30 metre ladders hanging from the eastern stand. I guess one of the downtime exercises is to yeah, put them in a little bit of fear sometimes, you know. Um, fear of the unknown or like fear of heights is a common one for people. So the TLT guys often like to get them in those types of uh, situations. So yeah, we use the stadium to good effect there. And um, the fact is when you're climbing those ladders, um, there, is a, there is a process to it. And following the process actually occupies your mind enough to distract it. So if you're actually scared, then too busy worrying about the process uh, to yeah to think about the fear and that's a lot of the you know I guess the basis around the camp and the lessons is that's all about process and not outcome. Yeah, so we um, have a bit of a sleep uh, slept all together in swags and um, yeah a little bit uncomfortable in that sense, but yeah I feel like it's a nice connection piece as well. Can you grab us on Jack? I'm no ten. I've done this so wrong. I is that a long? Is that an easy I long? They're up early the next day. Um, straight into it, yeah. <laughs> it's time to give them the time to really kind of get up and, um, you know, I guess we warm into it. It's none of that, it's straight into it. So primarily looking at these activities, whether they were both physical or mental challenges, we were, we were looking to see uh, where the leaders were, who they come from. I mean, we've got a young group here at the moment. 
we were testing some of them. The TOT boys were testing some of them, and you know, and some responded really well. So some were surprising, to be honest. Um, it was really good. We just looking for some leadership, teamwork, and connection because those traits will clearly come out on the field when they're under pressure, under fatigue. And that was the idea of the camp to test them with those. I think they learned a little about a bit about themselves personally. You know, like after the two days, they probably felt like they could achieve more than they they ever could. You know, they get in situations where it's difficult, um, there's some adversity, things are against them, and they can, you know, reference back to the camp and, and, and what they were able to achieve. Um, that's a great reference to have, uh, and that will last with them their whole career. Um, from a leadership perspective, I think. Uh, you don't have to be the captain or be part of the leadership group to be able to lead. There's so many other ways that you can contribute you know, to the team in that, in that sense. I think that's a really strong lesson.